Well, one of our challenges in our western soils is definitely our uh, crop rotations. I've got two aggregates here, and I just put this aggregate in. It's uh, been in alfalfa now for six years, and as you can see, it's it's uh, dropped a little bit of soil, but this is an aggregate test, and it's one way to test your soil quality. And they're basically the same soils right across the field from each other, uh, caltrop, uh, silt loams. Uh, so this aggregate we've got is uh, from a rotation, uh, corn silage, uh, wheat, sugar beet rotation, and pretty typical conventional tilled system. Not necessarily moldboard plowing, but a lot of subsoiling and disking and, and cultipacking rolling. And when, when we're out there in the field, you can't find any earthworms in this type of soil. But across the ditch or the fence line, our alfalfa has got six to ten uh, earthworms in every in every shovelful, uh, which isn't a lot, but it's starting to heal itself. And so I'm going to place this in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how the microbes and the organic matter has pulled together and formed some some aggregates. And when you look at this this uh, soil pet on, there's not much aggregation there. There's it's just kind of compacted soil. So here we go, and th and the uh, the, ox the water is going to rush in and fill these pores and put pressure on these pores. So let's see what happens here. So almost immediately, it's, it starts to explode. Those, the water is rushing into the, to the air pores, and there's just not much structure holding this soil together. Um, and as our aggregates... There are no aggregates, basically. It's just powdered soil, uh, but it falls apart. And then, and then the next, after an irrigation, for example, then we're fighting crusted soils. Um, our water infiltration is less here. Generally on these soils, they're bare of any residue on the surface, so we have lots of problems with wind erosion. Uh, we can even have, generally these soils have less uh, water infiltration. And so overall, it shows an example of a soil that doesn't hold together because it has no aggregate strength, it has no microbes, uh, it doesn't have the glomalin that's holding these soil particles together. But you can see over here on the alfalfa, uh, it's now pretty well stabilized in the soil and, it, and it's holding together. Is it a perfect system yet? No. But you can sure see how that perennial uh, plant that has no soil disturbance is starting to heal itself. So just a little quick, simple demonstration on one aspect of soil quality, aggregate strength.